what's up y'all welcome back so you're in my living room today and i figured i will just um sit down and talk to you guys and let's just about this topic um whew, so i put some notes down in my book here um i'm going to talk to you guys about this thing called grad school okay so you graduated now you've graduated from undergrad you have your first degree and you're thinking okay what next okay if you're anything like me you just want to like get on with schooling and just if it's higher education that you want you're just gonna go straight after your fourth um year of in undergrad so that's after like your first degree um that's if you're like me if you're not like me and you like you know have other plans in your life like maybe you want to travel or you just want to work for a little bit before you actually decide to go to grad school i'm not sure how helpful this video would be for you but you can definitely still keep watching okay. grad school me personally i knew that if i didn't go to grad school right after i finished college i was not gonna go again there's nothing that's going to take me back to that moment of me saying okay i think i want to go to grad school no i told myself henrietta if you don't go just forget about it because it's not gonna work after <laughs> so anyway i made the decision to go ahead um and enroll in a grad program i was very um confident going in because i knew kind of like what i wanted to achieve i knew the degree that i wanted to get and so i went in actually knowing what i wanted to do um that is not the case for most people some people want to go to grad school and don't really know what they want to actually study some people want to go to grad school and then start st start studying something and then realize like mm, halfway through the program um i don't think this is for me kind of some people want to work in their field first before they actually go ahead and get another degree in that same field so me personally i was kind of like already in my field of choice my field of like my career and i wanted the higher education for that field because i knew that i i i needed i in fact i needed <laughs> to get to where i want to be um career wise so the first thing you need to think about ac actually um think about if you want to go to grad school is the pricing most grad programs are very pricey especially if you're like doing something like businessy like if you're going to school for an mba that is really pricey it's a couple of thousands <laughs> depending on the school that you end up going to um if it's something along the lines of like engineering or entrepreneurship it may vary just depending on the school so definitely take into account the price because each program is not the same price um definitely do all your research first and um that way you can kind of narrow down okay how am i going to pay for this if is it something like my job can actually pay for because that's a lot of that's something that most people always forget it's like if your job offers tuition reimbursement you definitely want to actually utilize that because that would really really help you in getting a, a higher education and guess what as long as you get good grades in there you don't have to pay that money back it's not loans that you have to pay back um as long as you get a good grade most likely like your employer is going to pay pay your whole way throughout your grad experience so definitely take advantage of that if you have the opportunity to get tuition reimbursement at your job definitely utilize it um the only well, con in utilizing a tuition reimbursement is that you have to stay working in that organization for a set amount of time after you use that tuition reimbursement um for example the company that i work for um if you do use tuition reimbursement with them you have to stay until the six months after that um class or after the usage of that tuition that you used um so my company's policy is six months after some people have two years you have to stay with them for two years if you choose not to stay with them within that set period of time you have to pay that money back so that's something you want to think about um again it's free will if you're if you don't want to actually take the tuition reimbursement from your job definitely look at other ways of for paying for your grad school if it's really something that you want to do you can look into um fafsa which is like 
the student loans route you could try to borrow money from a lender um, and then you can also just finance it um, you can actually um, go ahead and set up a payment plan with your school and they cut they always have like payment options for you to pay for your college and for your experience there so definitely take that into account when you're thinking about grad schools because i tell you i kid you not grad school is expensive and if you're coming from undergrad and you already have that much loans do you really want to take more just to go get a higher education or do you want to take a think about um certification depending on your field so it's a lot of like prawns and cons you have to think about if grad school is for you for me personally it is for me just because of i have like set career goals and i and i really know that me achieving this degree will put will troubleshoot me and put me where i need to be and then i can actually start getting the certifications that i need for my field so definitely do a lot of market research definitely think okay what is the career path that i'm going for what do i want to do in my life you know what next do i want to see the growth that I want to see in myself is it am I gonna achieve that growth if I go to grad school or am I gonna achieve the same growth if I just study and take certification exams and all that good stuff and have all those certifications under your belt so definitely do a lot of research because pricing and uh, pricing you guys pricing is <laughs> whoo I can't stress it I can't stress it it's expensive Right, guys the next thing to consider if you want to go to grad school is the timeline okay I say timeline because most some grad programs you can finish within a year and a half some grad programs you can finish within a year other grad most grad programs you finish in two years um, if you're in the UK it's most likely going to be a year for you um, so then when you're thinking about timelines you're gonna think about okay um, do I want to do it at the start of my career? Do I want to do it in the middle of my career? Because I have a better idea of my market. I have a better idea of that industry. So I really want to be an expert in that industry. So I think I want to go back to school just so I can, you know, get all that knowledge under my belt. Or um, do I just want to, you know, just wing it and see how it goes? Um, I'm going to draw on my experience. I'm currently a grad student. I'm a full-time worker and I am a grad full-time grad student as well. Um, I chose to go to grad school big in the beginning of my career because I wanted to get on that all that knowledge as well as practical experience going in. Um, so, and I, like I said, fairly confident in the than the um, career choice that I've picked for myself, the career background, and the growth opportunity that I see in my industry and in my field. Um, so, if you're anything, if you're anything like me, you most likely would want to do that right after you finish your undergrad. Because <laughs> let me tell you, going back to school is really hard. It's really, really hard. Even when I finished undergrad, and I think I had maybe a break of maybe three months, and then I started my grad program. <sighs> having that three month break and then coming back and having a routine. Yes, I had just finished taking my finals for, it's like really, it's really a lot of planning and self, oh, I don't even know what the word to use, but you definitely have to plan around your life. Um, if grad school is a thing that you are absolutely thinking about. Now, this goes into timeline of other things you have in your life like you may be trying to move out of your parents house or you want to or you're moving into a new city for a new job so you're thinking okay is this really the right time for me to do this i mean you have to take all that consideration and i'm so sorry like i my hand is always like this when i talk <laughs> so please pay me no mind um i'm just doing the best that i can so yeah, definitely, you know, assess your situation, see what's going on in your life. Is it the right time for me to do this um, financially and like just physically, mentally? Because let me tell you, you need to be, you need to be prepared. Whew. You need to be prepared for grad school because it's no joke, especially in the program that you're doing. Yes, it's, it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of, um, you're kind of like teaching yourself if that makes sense and then at the same time you are if it's if you didn't if you're doing your grad school or if you're doing your programming something that you're already working in you're kind of like putting all that knowledge into practice so that's always a good plus and that's what's you know that's what i'm doing for my own self um 
and then the next thing I want to talk about talk about you guys is deciding if actually going to a physical grad school or working and going to grad school at the same time again everything is all about preference it's all about the things that you can handle the things you can manage right um most people they you know they they really like just you know not working just taking the two years of their life and going into a grad program where they are physically they're in the classroom they're interacting with their professors they didn't know that research they're you know been given that um classroom experience that they need um some other people they want to have that flexibility of actually working and going to grad school part-time or working and going to grad school grad school full-time none of these choices are easy none of these choices are easy and i can talk for this for someone that is going to grad school full-time and working full time i recently cut back on the classes that i was taking because as much as i feel like i'm superwoman and i can do anything i put my mind into i'm telling you it was really getting a toll on me i wasn't getting the grades that i wanted because i was exhausted <laughs> i was tired all the time i didn't feel like studying i didn't feel like doing any research for my papers and it was strain on my grades so i took a step back and reevaluated. and i was like you know what instead of rushing myself to graduate at a set time because i had put my name and i had put my mind so so laser focus on graduating at this certain time of my life because that's when i'm supposed to graduate i was like henrietta calm down First of all, calm yourself. Um, you're not rushing. You're not in competition with anybody. You're doing this because you want to, you know, further yourself and bring yourself up. You're doing this to make yourself more marketable, more present in your industry. So why rush? So I personally took the step back and I started taking just um, a couple, uh, one class um, here and there so that I can actually finish at a, you know, at a timely manner. But also I made my schooling more part-time than full-time because the first so the first year of my schooling i was in 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 fall spring this i had my two classes down so i took like eight classes in one year um out of 16 um how many classes i had to take I, out of the 16 classes i had to take i took eight classes like back to back to back and i just wasn't giving myself enough time to rest so what am i saying calm down <laughs> calm down because you don't need to rush like i did take all your time take your time to do it um if you decide to take the route that i took which is working full-time and going to school part-time you may want to think about going to school online and i say that because that gives you the flexibility it gives you everything um when it comes to making um being very disciplined disciplined who being very disciplined in um taking time for school your social life your personal life and your work life um yeah think of definitely think about it because going to school online it's a lot of teaching yourself it's a lot of researching yes your classmates are virtual and your it, teachers are virtual um but really and truly the grades that you're getting you feel a little bit better about it because you really worked for those grades like not to say that people that go into a traditional grad school and could go into a traditional classroom are not working for the grades but think about somebody that has to you, you have to set time aside to study you have to set time aside to do your school work that sometimes you may just want to go out you want to go get a drink you want to go to happy hour but you're like shoot i have to submit this thing in like three hours like I need to focus sometimes you may just have to go to your starbucks and with that being said if you haven't seen my day in my life video please click down i'm going to insert it right here um in the description box so you can see watch your day in my life video so guys yes thinking about online schooling it's it's a great opportunity for working adults um it's working well for me i am very very close to finishing i'm like 85 percent done with my program now i just have two more classes left and i'm taking it at my own pace at my own time so like i said it's very doable it's very exhausting but it's very 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 doable if you think that you want to work full time and you want to go to school at the same time so definitely think about online classes if you're not like me that's fine too all you have to do is 
um, research the, the school you want, research your program, if it's research that you want to do in your, um, in your grad degree, definitely pick a school that gives you that flexibility, gives you all the information that you need to actually go out there and do the research in your market, do the research in your industry, and be a top dog, like be a specialty in your field, because that is the only reason why we're out here trying to get a second degree, because you really want to make yourself stand out. Like, what? Well, to be honest, like, if I wasn't in the field I was in, if I was in tech or something, if I was in IT, I most likely would not be thinking around the route of grad school. If I was an engineer, I probably wouldn't be trying to get my master's in engineering or in something. I most likely would be looking at certifications because if that's the industry that I'm in, that's what that industry requires for me to actually be the best, be a specialty, be like you know the top dog in my field so i would be looking elsewhere and i would be looking at certifications yeah let me know if you're in grad school now how is your experience going um i'm currently in grad school online so my experience is most likely going to be a little bit different from yours but please let me know let's have a conversation down in the comments um you can always send me emails hit me up on snapchat let's have a conversation about it i think a lot of millennials really want to go back to school or i kind of thinking about it but like don't really want to spend all that money um to go um and some don't have the opportunity to have their employer pay for it so i mean it's it's grad school like going to grad school is really a personal thing um to me if you already have a first degree listen you're already halfway <laughs> you're already halfway there <laughs> so if grads if you think grad school would be an icing on the cake for you that's it um one thing that i do i did want to say is grad school grad school to me is really it's really for you like i feel like my undergrad my undergraduate degree was more for my parents it was more for okay you've gone to school you don't need you have degree but me actually deciding to go back to grad school i think it was it was a decision that i made for myself because i want i i personally wanted that degree for myself you know what i mean so if you're anything like me maybe you maybe you want to go maybe you don't um i mean it is what it is if it's if you think that's it then that's it and just like honestly take your time with it um it's not a rush um if you think you can if you you know really want to just finish everything in two years i would suggest that you actually go to grad like go to a school for your grad school like actually have that classroom experience so that you have no distractions Whew! i can get my i can catch my breath y'all <laughs> so that you have you don't have those distractions but if you think that it's something you want to pace yourself with it's you know you you're not rushing to do that you can go on my route and you can actually go to online school um and you know pace yourself think about it take one class each semester you you're gonna get it done so yeah. all right guys that sums up the end of this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up please please and i like i said earlier on i beg i use god beg you i use god take beggy i think i'm speaking it correctly I got, um, my pigeon is poor but anyway i'm begging you guys Biko, help you get out share my videos um I want to, you know, bring more things to y'all. Do, do you guys like to sit down talking kind of things? Do you guys prefer, like, vlogs to see what I'm up to each weekend or, you know, day in the life? Do you guys want to know how I do makeup, how I get my hair like this? Shout out to my barber. Or, I mean, just whatever you think that you want to try see me do. Actually, you guys, if you know, if anybody out here that's watching this video and you're here till now, if you know a good diet for me to try because i'm i've really been trying to diet and nothing is working so i beg let me know if you have a good you know if you have this diet thing down i beg talk to me let's let's have this conversation because i'm i really need to get my life together for 2020 you get what i mean Do you get me <laughs> all right guys thank you guys so much for watching watching all right guys thank you guys so much for watching um if you like this please like subscribe and i will talk to you guys in my next video thank you so much
Bye. <laughs>